Today marks the fifth year we're celebrating Scottish Housing Day um, and more than ever this year we can see the value of safe, affordable social housing for our communities. Everyone deserves a warm, comfortable, safe home that they can afford to live in and that's what we want to celebrate today in Scottish Housing Day. The pandemic's had a huge effect obviously on citizens and communities all over Scotland and in Dundee, in line with everyone else in Scotland, we're working hard to protect our most vulnerable in our communities. Um, one of the things that happened during the pandemic was more people presenting as homeless. So that meant our teams had to work really hard with partners in the city, with registered social landlords in particular, um, to secure some temporary accommodation for these people. Um, and we're now working hard to find them uh, more suitable accommodation as we get into the next stage of bringing all our services back. Another area that we had to work hard in was to help vulnerable people and our teams contacted over 3,800 people who were either tenants or shielding and we offered them support and assistance in terms of if they needed food or medical supplies or even just to have a chat. A lot of people said that it was really great to have someone on the end of the phone just to have a brief chat and to reassure them that everything was going to be okay. So that was a really important part of our work as we went through this lockdown period. Our sheltered complexes across the city were an area that you know we were quite concerned because they were older, more vulnerable people. So um, we've actually just finished a survey asking our tenants how they felt about what we did at this time to keep them safe. And we've had some really good replies from them and we hope that we'll be able to open up the sheltered complex lounges and other services as soon as possible. This has been a really difficult year for everyone. But the way we've got through it is by working in partnership um, with the Scottish Government, with various other housing associations and particularly with the army of volunteers that have emerged from all our communities to help with the distribution of food, with shopping, with telephone calls, drivers. It's been quite amazing the way that people have stepped up and I'd really like, like to thank everyone in the community all around Scotland who've done such a tremendous job of helping us at this difficult time. Just this week our eight community centres in Dundee uh, have reopened and we're hoping to start delivering the services that the communities um, come to these centres to find. People have really missed them, I know that. But some of the, the ones in our most deprived areas have been open and acting as hubs and as distribution centres for the volunteers and also looking after key workers' children um, as we've gone through this. So I'm delighted that they're opening up again. We'll continue to take advice from obviously the Scottish Government and NHS and we'll have the safety of our staff and tenants at the heart of everything we do as we continue to open up our services. So just to finally say, delighted to mark again Scottish Housing Day and to pay tribute to everyone who's managed to get through this difficult time. Um, we still have challenges ahead but by working together we will get through it and we, we, we will see things coming back to hopefully the way they were but communities have been amazing and I know they'll carry on doing that.